Hello, my name is Holly and I am an assistant librarian at the Keystone branch of the O'Leary Public Library System. Today's book talk is Let's Count. It features children's books that focus on developing counting skills. The first book on my book talk list is Found Dogs by Erica Sorotic. This book is great for children who are practicing counting 1 through 10, both forwards and backwards. In this book, children will practice counting the dogs at the animal shelter from 1 to 10, and then will count down from 10 as all the dogs in the shelter are adopted and find their forever homes. The second title is Click Clack Splish Splash by Doreen Cronin. The stars of this book are the animals on Mr. Brown's farm. One day while he was sleeping, the animals work together and plan a fishing trip. Children can practice counting one to 10 while following the animals along their fishing adventure. I wonder if they will make it back before Mr. Brown wakes up from his nap. You will have to read to find out. The third book on this list is Stack the Cats by Susie Garamani. In this book, you get to follow cats enjoying their everyday routine of sleeping and stretching, and sometimes they're even stacking. This book focuses on practicing countings 1 through 10 and even helps explain grouping by threes. This book is perfect for children who have a feline friend at home. The next book is Count the Monkeys by Mac Barnett. This book has you going on an interactive counting adventure throughout the jungle. You're supposed to count the monkeys, but they keep getting scared right off the page. Will you be able to count them before the end of the story, or will there be no monkeys in this book at all? The next book is 20 Big Trucks in the Middle of the Street by Mark Lee. This book focuses on the counting skill of 1 to 20. When the ice cream truck breaks down, all the trucks in town get stuck in a huge traffic jam. This book is perfect for children who love reading about cars and trucks and other automobiles. For those of you who have a dinosaur lover in your house, we have the first book, One Asaurus, Two Asaurus by Kim Norman. And this bo book focuses specifically on counting from one to 10. In this story, these dinosaur are prehistoric pals and they wanna play a counting game, but something is missing. They cannot find dinosaur number 10. Will they find him before the story ends or will they never finish their game? You'll have to read to find out. We have a second book on our list for those that love dinosaurs and it's called Counting Dinos by Eric Pinder. And this is a great one for anyone that loves dinosaurs and even nature in your home. There are several opportunities on each page to practice counting skills. Just on this page alone, it asks them to count a pack of five dinosaurs, five pine cones on the ground, and five boulders. This is the perfect read to practice counting from one to 10 and to really get those skills strong. The next book is Let's Count to 100 by Masayuki Seibi. In this big book, every page has 100 things on it. 100 ants, 100 birds, 100 pets. You can practice counting from 1 to 100 on every single page. Each page also offers additional challenges. For example, this page asks, is there enough berries for the 100 birds? This is a fun way to practice counting to 100 with just doing one page a day. The next book is Zoo Animals 1, 2, 3 by Rebecca Fagellin Davis. This is a great counting book full of familiar zoo animals. It specifically focuses on counting from 1 to 10.
This is a fun read with animal facts on each page, and it's a perfect story before a summer zoo adventure. The last book on my list is Polka Dot Old McDonald's Farm by Melissa and Doug. This fun interactive counting book focuses on counting from 10 to 1, but you can also use it to practice counting from 1 to 10 as well. As the children sing about Old McDonald's Farm, they poke the dots on the animals to count how many there are on each page. The popping action and sound is a great interactive way to practice their counting skills. Thank you for joining me for my Let's Count Book Talk. If you would like to place a hold on any of these books featured in the book talk, please contact your local branch of the Elyria Public Library System.